Bad memory, sloppy calendar, got an iPhone or an Android, then today's app judgment is for you. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey everyone, it's Annie and welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app reviews from Revision 3. Are you highly disorganized, perhaps even a slob? Don't worry, it's a sign of genius. Really, I read it on the internet. But life can be hard for the chaos prone. For us, jotting things down in a notebook or a calendar isn't going to cut it, so where do we turn? Well, there's Evernote which we've covered for both the iPhone and the Android. They're kind of the New York Yankees of the note-taking apps, with versions for the desktop and iPhone, Android, Palm Pre, and Windows Mobile. And they're pretty good, but there must be something else out there, right? Lo and behold, I give you SpringPad. Like Evernote, it's not limited to an app-only experience. In addition to versions for both the iPhone and Android, there's also a desktop interface so that everything you note is saved and accessible no matter where you are. Today we're looking at the version that comes on your iPhone. Once you've signed up for the service, which is free, you're presented with a list of all your stuff, which you can view by date added, by name, or by popularity. Which items are the most sprung, basically added and therefore recommended by the community of SpringPad users. On the web version, they seem to be pushing the social component via integrating with Facebook and Twitter and a friend feed, although I'm not sure just how much I would take advantage of this. I'm just trying to get organized over here. So let's see how you can add an item. You can take a quick note, jotting down anything that pops into your head that you may want to remember. This could be useful for all you idea people who are constantly bubbling with random thoughts that, who knows, could someday be worth billions. And there's a reason that this stuff is called stuff and not notes. If you choose to add by type, you can choose from a plethora of different activities, items, responsibilities, and various things you may want to remember, like books, movies, restaurants, even wines. A few that I found to be most helpful are shopping lists and checklists, and recipes, which you can search for if you want to make, say, pesto. This handy search feature applies to all the products, media, etc., like albums. Once you've added an album to your stuff, it gives you the option of buying it on iTunes or Amazon, emailing it out, or adding it to a list. Looks good so far, but what else does SpringPad have to offer? I'll let you know in a second, but first, let's thank our sponsor. Blogging is so easy when you use Squarespace, and now you can manage your entire Squarespace site on the go with the new Squarespace iPhone application. You can post and edit blog entries, upload pictures on the fly, manage content, save drafts, preview your updates, and even better, access your site's statistics. So try Squarespace today with a free 14-day trial, no credit card or deposit needed. Should you decide to move forward with your new fancy blog, use the code ABJUDGMENT to get 10% off your order. Do that and you will help us give you more app reviews. Welcome back. So SpringPad gives you a way of jotting down and remembering a very comprehensive array of stuff, from simple notes to tasks to photos, which you can take with your camera or add from your library. You can also search nearby for local businesses. Another excellent feature is the barcode scanner for when you're shopping and might want to remember a product to buy elsewhere or what have you. So say I might want to buy this Motorola Droid. You just line up the barcode, it reads the product and adds it to your stuff, easy peasy. What's missing in SpringPad? Well, creating an event within the app takes a few too many more steps than I would like. This lack of cohesion between the desktop and mobile versions bugs me. As someone who has a hard time remembering appointments, I also wish I could view my tasks and events in a calendar view, ideally on both the app and the desktop. Alternatively, easy integration with Google Calendar, for example, would be great. So what's the final word on SpringPad? SpringPad is a very comprehensive note-taking app that covers a lot of ground, has a companion desktop version so you can access your stuff anywhere, not to mention an Android version for in-betweens like me who waver between different phones. The search feature contributes a lot to the usefulness of the app, as does the barcode scanner, and SpringPad is free. What lacks is a way to tag your notes. You can create lists, but tagging seems like a more flexible organizational tool. And while diverse categories are nice, some of the more practical stuff you might want to remember, like events and appointments, seem underemphasized. Between the social component and the broad array of stuff it covers, it kind of seems like SpringPad is trying to be everything at once. Regardless, I really like SpringPad. It's robust feature-wise and feels a little more fun than the other existing note-taking applications. And considering they're a relatively new service, I'm happy to be on board and look forward to what they come up with in the coming months. So download SpringPad. It's free and I'll be using it over Evernote. Anything else you'd like to see us review? Send us an email at appjudgment at revision3.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and on our homepage at revision3.com slash appjudgment.